This video is going to work through uh, problem nine from exam two of 2018. And you're presented with this data about an internal medicine and pediatrics clinic that share a common waiting room. The common waiting area and administrative staff cost $200,000. So the question is, how do we allocate um, the $200,000 in, in waiting room cost to the two clinics that share that space. Um, and so our first option is to use net charges to determine what share of overhead belongs to pediatrics. Okay, so let's, um, so what do we need to know? Well, our cost pool in this case, right, we're always doing this, we're basically doing the same thing over and over again. Four step method, cost pool, 200,000. Cost driver is going to be uh, net charges. What are we gonna use as our cost driver then? total net charges, which is the 15.6. So we're going to divide 200,000 by 15.6. Right. This is our cost pool. This is going to be our cost driver. All right, we're going to divide our cost pool by our cost driver. Uh, that'll give us our allocation rate. And then we come back um, and it'll be our, our allocation of overhead per dollar of net charges. We'll take that allocation rate and to get the amount that goes to pediatrics, we'll do 200 divided by 1.56 times 561, and that will tell us how much to allocate to pediatrics. So let me stop the share. So we said our cost pool was 200,000. Our cost driver was the net charges, which is 15, 1.5600. So therefore our allocation rate is 200,000 divided by 1560, uh, 0.1282. Now pediatrics has net charges of 561. So 561. Uh, 600 times 0.1282 gives us $72,000. $72,000 of the 200 would be allocated to pediatrics. So question two says, use the RVU method uh, to determine what share of overhead belongs to pediatrics. All right. Um, So our view method, uh, we're going to be looking at, we want, we're going to use RVUs as our cost driver. So our cost pool is still the 200,000, but we're going to use our, RVU, our, our uh, RVUs as our cost driver. So in order to use our views as our cost driver, we need to know the total number of RVUs uh, generated in the, in the um, uh, uh, between the two uh, uh, clinics that are sharing or between the two services that are sharing the, the clinic. So we're going to be concerned here. We are not going to just say 1.2 plus 2. Right, we need a what we need is a weighted average of the two. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply one nineteen five uh, times one point two and twenty eighty times two uh, to get a total number of RVUs. That will then become our cost driver. We'll divide two hundred thousand by the total number of RVUs, and we'll get a cost per RVU, um, and then we'll multiply to get. I, I believe we want to do peds. So to use peds, we'll take the number of RVUs generated for peds times um, the cost per RVU, and that'll determine the amount allocated. Okay. So we know uh, peds had 19,000 visits times 1.2 uh, RVUs per visit. So 19,500, 
19,500 times 1 1.2 is 23,400 RVUs. Uh, internal medicine has 20,800 visits times two RVUs per visit. So 2,800 times two is 41,6. Total these together, 41,6, plus 23,400 gives us 65,000 RVUs. And then we take $200,000 cost pool, the 65,000 RVUs is our driver, and we get $200,000 divided by 65,000 RVUs gives us $3.77, you know, $769 per RVU. To calculate how much to send to pediatrics, we're going to take the 3.0769 times the 23,400 RVUs, and we get 72,000 again. So that's 3.0769 times 23,400 also gives us 72,000. So this is one of those situations where I should have written a, a better question that would generate two different numbers. You should not expect to see the same outcome both times. So that was a, a kind of a badly written question on my part because it could confuse you. Um, so you wouldn't you're not looking for the same answer. You're actually, you know, kind of the point is to get a different answer. Uh, so the badly written question for me or bad choices on the numbers. All right. And then part C, but that is the right way to do it. Okay. Um, and then part C, uh, the office manager tells you that the effort to check in a peds patient is about the same as to check in an internal medicine patient. Given that fact, what method would you recommend, one of the two above, or a different driver? All right. Um, so going back to the uh, original setup, what the practice manager is saying is, look, um, we're looking to share uh, the waiting room cost, you know, with the, with the admin support in the waiting room, it's $200,000. Uh, what really drives that $200,000 is check-ins. Um, and so he's saying, you know, check-ins really are, is the best measure, not net charges, not RVUs. RVUs tries to like calculate some sort of, well, how difficult is it to provide this care? That has, what he's saying is that really has nothing to do with the effort from the PSRs. Really, the PSRs effort is completely driven by number of visits. So you would just, he's saying, just use volume. So that's actually the answer is visits would be the best um, or volume, just basic volume, unweighted volume.